trainee plumber doing his safety checks on a gas meter and also a tightness test. My name is Alan Hart and in today's video we've got one of the trainees from Viva Training Academy and I'm going to show him how to do a tightness test on a gas meter. We're also going to go through all the safety checks that you would be doing on a gas meter as well. If you could, I'd be very grateful if you could put some comments below, if you could give him some um, yeah, give him some encouragement in the comments below, that would be great. He will be watching this video, there's no doubts about that. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's go over to let's go over to Ali. This video is for gas safe registered and trainee gas engineers under supervision. Please comply with the current regulations at the time. So do you want to open gas meter and show me what we need to be looking for? Yeah, so first of all, you just need the key for the gas box, yeah. gas meter box. So some basic safety checks that you need to do in your meter box are, yeah. firstly, you need to be making sure that the ECV, the emergency control valve, falls to the off position. Yeah. Okay. And that should bring it to on, and then you should also have some sort of a label yeah you know that shows which is the on and off position for an emergency situation yeah okay going off the anaconda you need to make sure that the seal is on the governor yeah so that's just to make sure that it's not been tampered with and uh, on the meter itself you should have the emergency number this is the number for cadence so if you smell gas or out like that that's the number that the customer needs to be ringing okay and then you need to be making sure that the meter itself is secured right so yeah. that looks in good working condition. Another thing that you need to check is that your 600, that you have 10 millimeter earthing wire that yeah. is within 600 millimeters or within the first T junction. Or before the first T. Or yeah. before the first T. Yeah. And you need to make sure that you have the, what is the name of this, Alan? That's just an earth clamp. That's an earth clamp. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. With regards to labelling, <coughs> the number, it could be whether the gas transporter is at yeah. the time. So I always call it Transco because that's what it used to be. Yeah. Um, obviously it, it changes, national grid, sometimes in different areas, different as well. Mm -hmm. But it's always the same phone number, the phone, and it's 0800 111 That's if you can smell gas leaks, etc. What type of meter installation is this? This is, it's an actually, it's a low pressure. It's a low pressure. Yeah. If it were a, if it were a medium pressure meter, then we'd have to make sure this, um, the gas pipe's not allowed to go through the back of the meter yeah. as well. Um, but we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about medium pressure in another video. Yeah, that sounds good. So we've looked at the basic um, safety things to check on the gas meter. And now Ali's going to go. Uh, Ali's going to show us how to do a tightness test. So yeah, let's uh, let's go over to Ali. So today we're going to be doing some tightness testing with Alan. Uh, first of all, before we touch any metal appliances, any gas appliances, we need to make sure that it's electrically sound. Uh, just for the purposes of this video, we've already completed that before we started. Now the next part that we need to go on to is making sure that our manometer, also called the YouTube gauge, is in good working condition and is level to zero zero. So for the next part of our test, Alan, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the gas. And what we're going to do is we're going to perform a let by test, and a let by test is essentially a test to see if the ECV, the emergency control valve, is letting gas out whilst it's supposed to be closed. Okay, so let's remove the test nipple and put our manometer in. Okay, we need to make sure that you know our piping is straight, the tube is straight, so we don't get an incorrect reading. Uh, what we need to do now is bring the bring the pressure up to between 7 and 10 millibars. So yeah, as you can see here, it's just under 10 millibars and we need to allow that to run for one minute. 
So the purpose of this test is to see that if this valve right here is letting by, if it's allowing gas to pass through here, and the reason why we do this test is because if it is letting by, and if it did have, you know, if it did have a leak on the system, then that's not something that would be able to pick up because we've got that gas leak is being covered up by the gas that's being allowed to come through here. So we've just uh, allowed this to run for one minute and uh, as we can see here it's still on 10 minute bars so we can confirm that the ECV is not letting by. So we can now move on to the temperature stabilization test. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put this up to between 20 and 21 millibars. And we're going to allow that to run for one minute. So we've allowed the temperature stabilization to run for a minute and we can see that it's still the same and it doesn't need any readjustment. We're going to now move on to the tightness test. So please make sure that you have your cooker lids and stuff like that open. We're going to allow, we're going to allow two minutes for this tightness test. So yeah, we've allowed the tightness test to run for two minutes and uh, and you know the pressure is still where it was before so there don't appear to be any leaks on this insulation uh, what we are allowed on this sort of uh, installation which is the G4 meter with the 28 millimeter pipe is we are allowed up to a 4 millibar drop for this installation here so to wrap up all we need to do is we need to remove our manometer and we need to screw our Test nipple back in. That's back on. And now we can turn the gas back on. So just to test what what we've disturbed here. LDF, there don't appear to be any leaks on the system here. And yeah. That's it, that's your tightness testing. Um, this is obviously a sound insulation. Thank you very much for that, Ali. Um, please remember, if you're gonna work on a gas meter or gas appliances, you must be gas safe registered or competent to do so, or you must be a trainee that's working with somebody who is qualified. Uh, this video is just to give you an idea of what trainees are learning or what they need to learn. Um, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. And yeah, um, thanks for watching. Always refer to the current publications, the gas regs, any manuals, Viper gas, or any gas manuals at the time. And please do not take anything in any of my videos as factual.